Monday, September 19th, Governor Andy Beshear presented Knott and Letcher counties $531,000 each to relieve strained fiscal liquidity caused by the July 26 flooding. Knott and Letcher are the first to receive financial assistance from the Eastern Kentucky State Aid Funding for Emergencies. It's also money to uh, run new infrastructure if necessary, looking at the long-term housing. So what today is about is about those big bills that are coming due that without some help, the counties couldn't afford. So what you saw are, I mean, big amounts generally, 500,000 and 760,000 are large amounts of money, but this is out of $213 million. So each of these counties will come back as more bills come due, the school systems will as well, and we can help them uh, along the way. My name is Aaron Crump, Chief Medical Officer at Pikeville Medical Center. The Heart and Vascular Institute, it's really an incredible program. Made incredible because of the providers, because of the technology, and because of the staff. Uh, we've truly become the leading provider of heart and vascular services in Eastern Kentucky. And in fact, what we do compares to anywhere in the nation. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. The state has allocated over $217 million to the Eastern Kentucky State Aid Funding for Emergencies. This funding is available to cities, counties, public and nonprofit utilities, and school districts. The state has also began to disperse Team Eastern Kentucky flood relief funds. So our uh, Team Eastern Kentucky flood relief fund has now raised a little under $10 million. We've paid first for every funeral of everyone we lost. Uh, the first thing we've got to be able to do is grieve together. And I don't want those families having to seek reimbursement at such a difficult moment. The second thing we've done is, is it's about for all uh, 6,500, 7,000 people that have been approved for any amount of individual assistance from FEMA, we're sending a $500 check uh, from that fund that we created. That's hopefully gonna help people get through uh, the next week, the next uh, month. It's, it's similar to a process we used in Western Kentucky and no one has to apply. The checks are going out the door right now. For more information on all flood relief resources and current projects, visit governor.ky.gov backslash flood resources. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.